So what's up YouTube? Thank you for coming back with me today. AJ Simmons here and I'm gonna give you your cleaning business video for today. We're gonna talk about insurance. So I forgot to go over insurance when I did the how to start a cleaning business video, the uh, original video that I recorded on how to start a cleaning business step by step. And I forgot to put in insurance. Now, first of all, in case you're wondering what order it should have went in, insurance would have been last anyway because you definitely don't want to uh, incur any extra bills before actually having income. And nine times out of ten, um, your customers won't expect you to provide them any proof of insurance. Nine times out of ten. Now, if I had one customer and it was a residential account, who actually wanted to see my proof of insurance before the service actually was able to uh, go forward. So, but in case you do run into a customer like that, then just tell them, okay, uh, I'll have it for you within 48 hours. And then just go get you some quotes and get you some insurance. But really hold off on insurance because you don't want to add an extra bill. And I'm talking to people who um, are starting cleaning businesses, cleaning businesses from scratch at this point. Uh, if you're buying a franchise, it's automatically a part of your franchise. Now, so when that, as I mentioned franchises, um, you definitely want to stick with the franchises insurance in the beginning because it's based off a percentage, which is, and the percentage is based off your current growth. And if you're not grossing a lot yet, then that means your insurance won't be a lot yet. Uh, but over time, you may want to revisit that and consider getting your own insurance outside of the franchise company because you could save a lot of money considering that their insurance is based off a percentage of your gross revenue okay now what are you looking for when you get insurance so the, the three basic things that you want to get uh, as far as insurance is general liability work workman's comp and bond coverage now general liability coverage basically covers if someone at the building maybe if they slip and fall on the floor or they or something happens at the building you can cover that uh, person through your insurance all right now what workman's comp covers is one of your employees gets hurt if i'm not mistaken it will cover that employee's uh pay or a portion of their pay while they're out of work and then with the bond coverage what the bond coverage uh covers is if one of your employees steal something or uh, basically theft anything to do with theft is what the bond covers to my knowledge so those are the three main coverages that you would need general liability workman's comp and bond coverage i think i got the descriptions down packed you can always seek uh advice from an insurance broker it doesn't cost you anything to talk to a broker me personally i like brokers because i feel like they can shop around and get the best deals from companies who you've never even heard of i know fabio doesn't like uh, brokers simply because they also um, at the end of the day they're out to get a check too and the more you pay the more of their commission but i've always had great experience with brokers so you can kind of play with it and see what works best for you um a couple other things i want to bring up i told you the big three things that you want to cover but when you talk to a broker they might try to and this was what fabio was talking about when he was saying that they could be expensive is they might try to sell you on other coverages that they'll try to convince you that you need but you probably can go without like i know in one case um a, uh, a broker was trying to sell me on inland marine coverage and what inland marine coverage covers is when you have property on the premises of your uh buildings that you clean instead of in your home office or where whatever uh location that your your uh equipment is usually housed because they covered it where you, where your home location is but they won't cover out where the facility is if you have equipment out there unless you have inland marine coverage but in my particular case i didn't need inland marine coverage because i don't own any heavy duty equipment the most expensive equipment that i have is a backpack vacuum so and i don't feel like i need to ensure that but uh, some people that own uh expensive buffers and and, and um carpet machines and stuff like that you might want inland marine coverage if you're keeping those machines out at a facility uh for long periods of time you might want to consider that but in my particular case i didn't need that and he almost sold me on that until i really thought about it and said wait a minute i don't even own anything uh as far as equipment 
and that's worth enough for me to buy insurance for because the D deductible will be more than what the cost of just replacing that equipment. You see what I'm saying? So you got to figure out what works best for you. Um, what else? It was uh, lost key coverage. That was another coverage he tried to throw out there to me. Um, whether that's worth it or not, that's up to you. You can decide. But my point is you, the main three is all you really need. And uh, just be careful when you're dealing with brokers. I, like I said, I like brokers because they shop around for the best price, but they may also try to get you to buy in on extra coverages that uh, that may not be necessary. So that's my spill on insurance. Uh, kept it short and sweet this time. And I just want to thank y'all for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. And I want to tell you this too. If you have considered buying a cleaning franchise and you're still not sure, I encourage you to watch Cleaning Franchises Exposed. Uh, this was the original first video of my How to Start a Cleaning Business series, which was on my old channel that got deleted. Um, but it, it basically breaks down exactly how much you will make uh, fee by fee in that video. And I'm at the whiteboard and I'm writing it down so you can get a clear view of actually i won't even say clear view because the camera i used wasn't that great but uh nonetheless you can see what was going on and i broke it down piece by piece and um i think that if you're still on the fence about franchise or not franchise if you watch that video it'll probably clear up every single thing because you're going to see exactly how much you can make with a franchise starting off all right and you can get that video at my website ajsimmonsonline.com go to the shop tab and and click on um um cleaning franchises exposed and it's a video you can buy it i think i got it on sale right now for 5.99 it's usually 9.99 so i got it on sale you might want to go get it now and also i'm gonna go ahead and put this out here to y'all if you sign up when you go on my website there's gonna be a pop-up for your email for you to input your email so you can subscribe to my site and if you do that you're going to get a uh, promo code so make sure you put your email in so you can get 15 percent off on top of that uh, item being on sale for $5.99 you can also get an additional 15% off by entering your email and becoming a subscriber to my site alright so thank y'all for watching subscribing like and sharing and comment again and I'll talk to y'all on Monday thank you